Welcome back. Lesson three is going to be about medium and high voltage insulation and insulation test instruments. This is going to be in the same book we've been using, uh, but it's going to be in chapter seven, so we're skipping ahead a little bit. Uh, and this is going to talk about things like uh, megometers, high pot testers, uh, phase testers, and various things like that. All right, let's get started with question one. A high voltage phasing detector can test a three phase distribution system, four phase, and it's all of these. This is on page 290 with a picture on page 291. And it does say on 290 medium voltage phasing testers. Uh, I've looked through this whole chapter. I could not find anything about high voltage phasing testers. So, and it, a phasing tester is a phasing tester. It doesn't matter whether it's low or medium or high voltage. The, what this question is asking about is what is the function of the tool, not what's the difference between a medium and a high. Uh, and you can see that mostly what they, they check is they identify which phase is which, so you can tell if they're in the right sequence or if they're reversed so that your motors spin the right way the first time. All right, next question is insulation resistance will typically decrease over time. So this is going to be a little bit later in the chapter. It's not that much later in the chapter. It's on page 292, a couple paragraphs down and it covers insulation resistance typically becomes lower over time or drops suddenly. Just wear and tear of the material of the insulation, especially if it's outside, but even if it's in a conduit, it's going to gradually lower. Maybe it's not gonna ever get low enough that it matters, but it will degrade over time. Uh, a design test will test a component until it fails. So that's a couple pages back uh, on 294 is design test and it will describe what a design test is and it's generally basically to figure out where the part is going to fail and what it takes to make it fail. iPod testers measure blank to determine the condition of a conductor's insulation. They detect they measure leakage current. What they do is they put an incredibly high amount of voltage on a circuit and then, or on a conductor, and then measure how much voltage is getting through the uh, insulation. It's, they're actually a fairly dangerous uh, test piece of testing equipment. And every time I've seen them used, it was like, Yes, that's the guy that does the high pot testing. And they bring in like a guy. Maybe it's not the same everywhere, but that's that's what I have seen. A ground blank test is used to verify that a low resistance path exists between the ground conductor and all exposed conductive metal parts of a device. Continuity the ground continuity test is actually in chapter six so they kind of threw you for a loop a, uh, a curveball there what i had to do to find it is i looked in the index and that took me right to it on page 262 uh, we'll tell you all about ground continuity testing uh, basically it's just if you've ever done a test with the assured equipment ground assured equipment grounding conductor program then you'll know what that is you take the ground lead and you test it to the body of the tool and you know or test both ends of the ground conductor or various things like that you're just testing to make sure there's a continuity in the grounding system uh, next up the blank is a test instrument specifically designed to take current measurements on high voltage cables. I need to go back through these questions, delete the extra words. Um, but 
the question is just right here. The test instrument specifically current measurements on high voltage cables. So on high voltage cables, you don't want to get close. You don't want to touch them. So it's going to be, and it's reading current. So it's going to be a no contact high voltage ammeter. So not non-contact high voltage ammeter. In chapter seven and several sections of that, you can find pictures of them. They uh, they use them on like page two eighty eight uh, is one of the non-contact testing tools, and it's on a long pole. And you can stick it up there and read amperage. Okay, and that is the end of this one. You guys will uh, go on to the next stuff whenever it's ready to be done. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.